my dream didn't come true. I'm not saying this for sympathy or for pity. I'm saying this to give you another perspective. We always hear about the one in a million success story, but we never hear about all those other million failures. Despite making up so much of the population, they're completely voiceless. So here's my story. The story of someone whose dream didn't come true. When I was 13, I had dreams to become a famous rapper. It's kind of funny to hear this coming from my pasty ass, but I took this very seriously. I was obsessed with the organic rise to stardom that Pro Era, Odd Future, and Mac Miller had. Through just their talent and gaining attention on the internet. I convinced myself that I could be like them and become successful enough to make a career in music straight out of high school. Four years have passed since high school and I didn't make a career in music. I actually quit music altogether. Maybe that sounds depressing, but I actually think I made the right decision. Believe it or not, my regret isn't that I quit, it's that I didn't quit sooner. Because at a certain point, it just didn't fulfill me anymore. Now, part of that was my own stubbornness, but I think another part of it is this cultural idea that you should never quit and never give up, even when something clearly isn't working. And what I've learned these past couple of years is you can like the idea of something, but the daily routine and practice of that thing might not be for you. I like the idea of being a rapper because a lot of my cool friends at that time were, and all of the celebrities I put on the pedestal were basically rappers. So I thought it was only logical that this was the path for me to take. But I overlooked how I could interact with this world practically. I'll give you an example. I'm a homebody. I don't like traveling. I actually find it to be a pain in the ass. But the only real way to make a living as an artist in this era is to travel on tour. And when I say tour, you might think of that rock star rapper lifestyle, but when you're just starting out, it's not like that, not at all. You have to rent a shitty van, stay in rundown motels, perform for maybe 50 people a night at a local bar, and just barely break even on all expenses for years. Some people are totally happy with this sacrifice, and good for them, but that's not for me. A lot of us look at careers or a lifestyle as a means to an end. Basically, we care more about the end goal instead of what the average day looks like within this life path. For example, the aesthetic of having a sports car and a mansion is appealing to pretty much everybody. But if the average day consisted of mind-numbing tasks, office politics, and people trying to exploit you, you would be miserable. A lot of dreams were sold are beautiful, but soulless. And I started to realize that the lifestyle of a famous rapper probably isn't for me when Mac Miller died. He was someone that I idolized and I put on a pedestal. I loved the progression he made with his art and I wanted to be the second coming of him. But that dream that Mac inspired me to chase killed him, both literally and metaphorically. It took this naive and wide-eyed 18-year-old kid fresh out of high school living his dream and it turned him into a clinically depressed 22-year-old who wouldn't leave his room for days at a time. Maybe you can say he died a legend, but he didn't live a happy life, partially because of his dream coming true. I'm not telling anyone to give up on their ambitions and to just throw their life away, but I do think we live in this unhealthy culture of motivational speakers telling naive young people to chase their wildest dreams without thinking about the unintended consequences. And they push this narrative that anyone who offers pushback on another person's dreams is just secretly a hater who is jealous and doesn't want them to succeed at life. But that's not true. Sometimes your dream can be a nightmare. Everybody likes the idea of being famous, but very few people can handle that pressure. Everybody likes the idea of being president, but not everybody should be. Everybody likes the idea of being wealthy, but no one wants to put money over their family. Success isn't this black and white thing that's only good or bad. There's a lot of ugliness and superficiality 
that comes with success, but no one will feel good about doing nothing with their life. It's more of a balancing act than this superhero power fantasy, or a uh, just go with the flow, dude. Basically, you want the bonds and connections of an average person while having the comfortability and confidence of a highly successful person. You should chase your dreams, but examine why you have that dream in the first place. Is it something that you would appreciate the daily routine of, or is it just a cool daydream you had in your head? Making these videos right now fulfills me more than music did. I like being able to connect through others while sharing my story. But I also understand that there will come a day when this doesn't fulfill me anymore. And that's okay. I think the problem with this whole dream culture thing though is it basically tells you to have one goal for your entire life and that's it. But that's not how humans should grow. Don't be afraid to change your goals with your interests. I wish I had started this channel a lot earlier, but I was so stubborn and stuck on making music because I thought that was the one thing I was supposed to do. And if you give an honest effort towards your dream, whatever that is, and you fail, it's a painful feeling. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's always better to live with what is than to wonder what if.